Okay, so now it's actually time to start the conversion, turn in the Thunder Tiger Tomahawk Nitro ST truck into brushless power. So I've got everything laid out. So it's actually start the conversion. I hope you all enjoy the video. So let the build begin. Okay, so the motor is mounted to the chassis. It's actually mounted really nicely. I've got good gear mesh on there, just how I like it. Basically, I want the main gear to have the minutest bit of movement on the pinion gear. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose. But that, straighten my wheels up. That feels really nice, really smooth. As you saw, hopefully in the video, got some bolts on the bottom and then the nuts on the top so that's gonna work out nicely now I need to actually do the battery tray so if I get the battery tray and we're gonna mount the battery tray here unfortunately though I've got to put the bolts on the bottom of the chassis for the battery tray because you don't want bolts inside the actual tray itself because of the battery so I'm gonna reposition the camera get some music going and carry on with the build.
okay so I've now fitted the battery tray that's nice and secure on the chassis that is not going nowhere I thought I'd put uh, three nuts and bolts in there now uh, the bolts are quite nicely flush so that's not going to affect the battery and we're only going to be using hard cased batteries in this but I'll probably put a little bit of foam on the inside anyway now unfortunately the bolts that I had the uh, hex bolts they're either too long or too short as you can see there there's probably two to three mil coming off of the chassis so what I'm going to do before the proper run I'm going to cut those threads down a little bit uh, just to make it a little bit nicer and also what I'm going to do is once the whole thing's built I'm going to um, probably take everything apart one more time and just put some Loctite on everything even though I've used locking nuts so in theory they shouldn't come undone it's better to just put a bit of Loctite on there anyway uh, but because of how easy this is even if I don't there's like what uh, four five six seven bolts that I've got to check um, so I can just check that after every run if I want to okay so what we do now let's start to put the electrics in there it's coming together quite nicely uh, so let's put the electrics together I apologize guys if the camera views are not great but I can only do what I can do I've got to make it easy so I can actually do the job and see what I'm doing uh, but I'm sure this will still be interesting for a few of you anyway and once it's done obviously you're going to see some running footage and stuff like that and this is a basic simple uh, conversion anyway guys so let's crack on get the electrics in and get this finished up
Okay then, so it's all plugged in, all the electrics are in. Just got to basically tidy everything up now. I'll give you a quick look. Turn on the transmitter. Turn on the electric speed controller. And we're all ready. Now, I'm going to need to change the steering servo, I think. It seems a bit weak, but we'll see. And obviously, we've got forwards and reverse. I don't want to like open it up on the desk. But yeah, so the electrics are in. Time to actually tidy everything up and get everything settled for its first run. So thanks for bearing with me on the video, guys. So let's quickly continue and get everything finished. Okay then, so the build is finished. The Thunder Tiger Tomahawk ST is now brushless powered. The build actually went quite well. Very simple, very easy. Uh, the gear mesh is really nice. Um, so let's actually turn it on and get some power going to it. Awesome, okay. So one thing I have noticed the steering servo is a bit too slow for my liking um, so we're going to actually change that out but let's give it a bit of power nice works pretty well doesn't it so looking forward to taking this out now what we're going to be doing with this we're basically going to be bashing it killing it then cannibalizing it uh, we're going to basically just run it until it dies, which I can't see it lasting that long to be honest. Um, but we're going to take these wheels off, put them on something else, maybe take the shocks off. Obviously reuse the electrics on other models. But yeah, this is just a little fun project. Um, hope you liked it guys. If you did, please, as always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And if you are subscribed, please hit that bell notification button so you can stay up to date on all my up and coming videos. Now, within the next week or so, we'll take this out, give it a good bash. Obviously, I will do that on video so you guys can get to see it run. So, yeah, that is it for this one, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Happy RCing. Take care. Bye-bye.